And then are you going to basically in the sessions talk about the authors that always forget to cite their software? So. <laughs> I'm a little late getting here this morning, day two, and my dreams, my prayers have been answered. There's still coffee. All right, time to go learn about stellar flares. So in the UV pass band, there's about 1.8 times 10 to 31 birds. It's among the strongest flares ever observed in the SUV. But as you can see the, in the far ultraviolet, the energies of the players of the young indoors are much, much greater than those of the old indoors, roughly two to three orders of magnitude. A few decades ago, it was a surprise to find that active M-dwarfs have bright, quiescent, non-thermal radio action. I decided to show you today um, new uh, X-ray and optical data on stars from two open clusters. Presepi and Hyades um, were believed to be coeval around 650 million years old. She's made a bunch of her friends. And I'm here to ask for startorial forgiveness. Oh, yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> but I failed startorialist. <gasps> I failed, I failed, to, break, I failed to deliver a box. Oh, I heard about this box. It's sitting on my table at home because I am forgetful. But my wife, who is amazing, is going to bring it down. Okay. Wow. At least we have somebody who like it, picks who up actually your is responsible. <laughs> is the most amazing and came down and delivered this box that I forgot for the Startorialist booth. Uh, I can't believe I forgot it on the kitchen counter this morning. So it's a fitting thing my wife should deliver this today because today I'm thinking about careers, family, choices, jobs. A big part of the AAS meeting isn't just showing off science, isn't just meeting with your collaborators, it's about networking. It's about hustling, showing off your work, meeting with potential employers, trying to get that next job. It can be stressful. It's a big networking fair, basically. So I've certainly made my own specific choices about my career. Of course, this week I'm balancing family, balancing living here, and attending a meeting. But I've also made choices about which jobs I'm applying for, which cities I'm willing to live in, um, and what I'm not willing to do. If you don't remove your poster at the end of the day, they will remove it for you. undergrad working on a project that has to do with uh, basically the gas cycle for galaxy um, formation and evolution. Hi, I'm Alex Tichy. I'm a grad student at Columbia University and I look for excellence. Uh, hi, I am uh, Gus Minch. I'm one of the data editors for the AAS journals. So you were in season one of the AAS vlogs. I was in season one. Yeah. Yesterday was all about software citations right. and then today and tomorrow all about data citations. And then are you gonna basically in the sessions talk about the authors that always forget to cite their software? So, <laughs> I just got out of an interesting discussion session that was about SETI, that's the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Basically aliens, in the 2020 Decadal Survey. So this is a survey that's done every 10 years uh, to kind of assess what the state of the field is, what are the priorities, what are the funding priorities of the field. SETI has kind of a complicated history in astronomy, as it was essentially outlawed, banned, uh, kicked out from the available funding sources, so NASA, NSF, they didn't want to fund SETI research for a long time. Uh, now there seems to be openness, interest in funding SETI. There's a small but growing group of people who are interested in the academic pursuit. So I'm certainly one of these people who are interested in seeing SETI pushed forward uh, and pursued and thus funded. So it's great to be in the room where a lot of these decisions are happening and to you know get my tiny bit of my voice heard. Being involved in these sorts of like bigger picture state of the field discussions uh, can be a very influential thing. If you can say that uh, not only am I a voice of great science and great ideas, but I'm a contributing player in what the decisions are being made. It was interesting.
feel like that's new. That's really cool. Like not just bringing in people, but uh, actually trying to make the connection between jobs and scientists. I love it. My name is Christina Lindbergh. I go to the University of uh, Washington. Um, and I'm here at this conference just trying to pick up as much bad chocolate as I can. <laughs> Hi, my name is Russell Van Linge. I'm from San Diego. I go to UC San Diego, and I study brown dwarfs in their magnetic fields. My name is Dino, Dino Bektesovic. I am at University of Washington in Seattle, and I work on getting the LSSD software to run in clouds. Okay, it's almost 6 o'clock. For dinner tonight, I'm meeting up uh, a bunch of people from my grad school class. So these were the, the eight of us who entered grad school together and now have taken a ton of different career paths. So it's good to catch up and see where life is taking us. We entered grad school 10 years ago, so it'll be a nice reunion. And it causes one to really reflect on where they're going. I don't know what my next job is. Um, I think that's it today. See you tomorrow for day three.